All right, guys, I'm back with another uh, DVD horror update. All right, I got six titles, so I'm just going to get started. Okay, first up, we have a double feature here, and it's Silent Night, Dead Night, Parts 1 and 2. Um, released to Anchor Bay just recently, I think a couple weeks ago or whatever. Um, it's been a while since I've seen these two movies. I actually kind of like Part 2 a little bit better than Part 1, even though... Um, for those who've seen it, know that uh, Part 2 is kind of one of those uh, cheap sequels where um, most of the footage is actually made up of stuff from the first movie. But um, this one is actually, Part 2 is actually really quite funny when it does get into uh, its story as, a, as opposed to rehatching uh, everything that happened in Part 1. <clears throat> Here's the back. Um, I guess... Uh, Saturday Night, Day Night Part 1 is unrated, and uh, Part 2 is the rated version. There's the disc here. 1 and 2. Alright. My next pickup is also um, a double feature, and it's uh, Wishmaster Part 1 and 2. I haven't seen Part 1 yet, but I have seen Part 2. I watched that one on cable back in the late 90s. Um, this release is out of print, but I think you can still get um, the Wishmaster films in like a like a four pack through Lionsgate, because Lionsgate um, acquired Artisan a long time ago. This is a flipper disc, as you can see here. <clears throat> Got a movie on each side, and uh, it has a booklet that actually has information about both movies in there as well. All right. Next up, we have uh, The Phantom of the Opera, and this is the 1989 version with Robert England, who used to play Freddy Krueger. Um, this is probably my favorite um, of the Phantom of the Opera movies that came out around that time. It was, it was funny because like, when that play came out back in the, the 80s there, the Phantom of the Opera brand got really big, and um, that's around the time this one came out. <clears throat> This one's out of print too, but I don't think it goes for very much money. So it's been a while since I've seen this one, so I'm really looking forward to uh, watching this one again. My next pickup is an interesting one, and it's Maniac Cop. This is the uh, the Canadian release to uh, Legacy, and um, the thing about this one, although I need to research a little bit more, is that this is an extended cut. It's the Japanese version. And uh, I think it runs like um, like six minutes or so longer than the, the regular cut. And uh, I read about it online, and they were saying that uh, this version was supposed to be sourced from a PAL um, source. And uh, it was supposed to run quicker because of that and have problems. But I, I put it in, and it looked fine. Although it is a full frame, uh, but it ran the full like uh, 91 minutes as opposed to the uh, the 88 minutes that's listed on IMDb. But uh, I'm still gonna pick up the uh, the um, either the Arrow release or the um, uh, Blue Underground Blu-ray of this at some point. I'll just hang on to this. I didn't pay very much money for this. This I got this at the uh, my local pawn shop. I paid like a dollar seventy-five for it. So, oh, let's see here. There we go. There's the inside disc art. I will say that uh, though that this <clears throat> this release has one of the worst uh, menu screens that I've ever seen. It almost looks like a, a DVD-R. It's got like a little box in the center of like a blue background with uh, the uh, like with the, the picture just kind of moving showing scenes from the movie. Okay. My next pickup is another out of print DVD and it's a uh, Valentine. I used to have this one before but I had gotten rid of it but then I was watching a video earlier in the year and someone was saying that this uh, release I got out of print and I figured well you know for a dollar seventy five you know, I'd pick it up again. Um, I thought this one was okay. I wasn't really uh, really big fan of this uh, slasher film. You know, I wish it had been a little bit... It, it could have been cool if they would have did it um, 
a little darker and a little bloodier. This one's one of those films that's kind of made for people who don't like horror films that much. You know, one of the post-scream knockoff films. But I didn't realize that this one starred uh, Catherine Heigl, who was made more popular by being in Grey's Anatomy. Because you know, I wasn't really aware of her when I originally watched this movie. I was more excited because Denise Richards was in it. <clears throat> okay, so this takes me to uh, my last pickup. And I'm really excited to find this one. And I also got this at the pawn shop for very little money. And that's uh, the Night Flyer. And this one goes for, I think, around like 30 or so dollars on uh, on eBay. And as soon as I saw it, I just scooped it up. I knew it was out of print. I didn't wasn't sure how much it was going for, though. But I saw it, and I'm thinking, well, what the hell, I'm getting this. This is the uh, HBO um, video release. You can see here, it's uh, also one of those snapper cases. It's got... Uh, you know, the artwork on the inside, and you can see, I don't know if you can make out the image here of the Night Flyer. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, seen this movie as well. I actually watched this on HBO when it first came out. So, Although, I, I think they really shouldn't have the creature on the cover, because I think that was supposed to be something that was hidden towards the very end of the movie. So, it's kind of like a big-ass spoiler right on the DVD cover. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later.